heading to Animal Kingdom today. We are starting our day by doing the Up Close with Rhinos tour. Yeah, so we just had Bell Services take our luggage over to the Polynesian. Yep. We are going to be checking in there a little bit later today. Lots of bags. <laughs> yeah. They were like, how many, how many bags you got? <laughs> Ten bags. Yeah. But not I mean, just ours. Yeah, not just ours. Mom and Glissa's bags were included in that, and then a lot of it was just like our groceries and lightsaber <laughs> and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to call for a lift. My mom and Glissa are going to meet us there later just because with timing and getting up early, there wasn't enough time for everybody to get ready. So we're going to head over and then they're going to meet us there because they're not doing the tour. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the other kingdom. So we just got dropped off by our lift in the whole parking lot to Animal Kingdom is different. And they have like, you dropped off over here, you used to get dropped off over there. And then they make you walk this way. So I'll show you what the new entrance looks like. Because you used to go in over there. But I think they might have moved it. I guess we'll find out. Disney's Animal Kingdom. This way. So the entrance is still in the same spot. They just have you going through all these like green walls for some reason. I wonder if they are going to move it out further or what the plan is. What? Maybe a little bit of adjustment and refurbishment. Were all these lanterns here before? I think so. Hard to tell what they're up to. Yeah. Just gotta go through bag check and then we'll begin. We just stopped for a photo pass with the Tree of Life. And now we're gonna head over to the Rhino Tour to check in. The people were heading over to the Rhino Tour to check in. Yeah. What time is it? 10.36. 10.36. We're supposed to check in at 10.45, so it's perfect timing. And uh, I think we check in over by the safari, so we'll head that way. Checked in, gonna go use the restrooms. They said yeah. that it is one hour without being able to use the restroom, so. Hopefully Dan can make it. Yeah, we'll go uh, make sure that we're all comfortable and ready to go. Yeah. And then we're gonna head back here in approximately 10 minutes. Yeah. Get started. Dan's gonna put his special lanyard on. And there it is, Dan with a Mickey head. One hour later. So we just finished our Up Close with Rhinos tour. Yeah. And we got to see the black rhino. Yes. Uh, because they're doing some construction and some refurbishment. And the yeah, white they're getting a squishy floor. <laughs> That's one of the things. Getting a squishier floor over there. Uh, the we white were, rhino. Yeah, we were the told best. they're bougie. Yeah. <laughs> so they're getting that. Um, the tour was great. Yeah, it was awesome. Really interesting. Um, you just can't imagine what it's like to be up close with a rhino until you are. Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing how big they are. And the yeah. one we saw, his name was... Yeah. Baja? Roger. We have a picture, Roger. we'll insert a picture of the yeah. immediate, we have a picture just that says his name on it, we'll insert yeah. it here. But he was super sweet, um, I think they can be a little aggressive, that's why you usually don't yeah. see the black rhinos. Um, but they mentioned that because um, certain 
team will come in every once in a while where they don't have the green shirts on that the cast members wear, so they want yeah. the rhinos to be used to seeing unfamiliar faces. They even said the managers will come down when they're not getting vet treatments because they don't want them to associate the manager's shirt with getting a vet treatment. So yeah. they do a lot of conservation things. He was super well trained. He would come over and just open his mouth and <laughs> get treats. Picks up and, food. He definitely yeah. is food driven. Yeah. So I mean, really nice experience. Yeah, it was an awesome experience. We would definitely recommend doing it. We'll have to do yeah. it again though because I do want to see the white, white rhino and yes. pet a rhino. Yeah, you can't pet you the black rhino. You did not get to pet the black rhino. Which is okay. Still yeah. very, very cool. Yeah, we had it was a great totally time. worth it. And all of the money that um, we paid was, I think, $40 a person to do this tour. There was an annual pass holder discount. I think it was about 10%. All of the money that you pay for this tour goes right to rhino conservation. So yeah. coming up to one year on doing the tour in Animal Kingdom. It's only offered once a day at 11 a.m. Um, they said they've raised almost $200,000 in just yeah. the one year. And it goes straight to rhino conservation. Disney gets none of the money, yeah. so it was super cool. I would definitely Very recommend awesome. it, and we have to do this one again, or maybe the elephant tour next time. Yeah, there's a lot of options, a lot to do. Yeah, and that just goes to show how many things you can do with Disney that aren't just the rides or yeah. getting fast passes. Absolutely. So, yeah. Now we're gonna go meet up with Mom and Chris at Starbucks. There we go. Yeah. Another cool part about the Up Close with Rhinos tour that I liked was being able to see what backstage looks like. Yeah, that was really cool. You can't so, film anything back there, obviously. Yeah, so we couldn't bring our cameras or take any photos, but it was really awesome to see everything. For me, I don't know, it was interesting to me to see kind of the logistics and how Disney's operating behind the scenes. Um, it's as big and impressive as you would think. Just in the small area we saw, seeing, you know, the like the back of Tusker House. You yeah. know, it, they obviously do a great job theming the parks. Um, they also, you know, it's still clean and everything back there. It's just oh, yeah. not as photogenic, and that's why they, part of the reason why they don't want uh, camera equipment back there or photos. So, really cool for me to see that. Um, awesome to see how their safety standards don't change back there. They're very safety focused, care about their oh, yeah. employees. Like, you and, have to like walk in certain pathways and stuff. Yeah. So, just really cool. Another interesting uh, part of doing that tour. So if you like rhinos, obviously that's a great like piece. Any but I mean, they, they're very much like dogs. So <laughs> if you miss your dog, maybe plan it in the middle of your trip. Yeah, for like forty dollars a person, it was they were quick about it. Everything was efficient, and we had a really good time. Pumpkin bread. Thumbs up for the pumpkin. You guys want to try some? Thumbs <laughs> up. Guess what, Clista? I got you both fast passes for Flight of Passage, the same time as us. Awesome. Come on, give her her full credit. She did. She said awesome. Awesome. More fully credit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited when we got one. That is skill. Not giving me the credit. <laughs> I said that is skill to get that fast pass. Got Starbucks. Well, Chloe's name's on it, but it's mine. And it's delicious. What'd you get? Yeah. I got the Java Chip Frappuccino. Very, very hibiscus. We just took some pictures. Carol Basket. We're gonna head into Pandora now. We um, I managed to get a fast pass for Mom and Calista. Up until the trip, they had joined the trip like 30 days ahead of time, so we already had our fast passes, but I was able to get a fast pass like five minutes off of ours, so we're gonna head over there now.
Fast Pass at Rafiki's Planet Watch. I'm gonna do the animation experience, which they used to have at Hollywood Studios, but now they brought it back at the Rafiki's Planet Watch. So we'll see how it is. I take a train out there. Hopefully, we make our Fast Pass.
wants to go and see the petting zoo area. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, all we don't get any diseases. All the little fluff animals. The diseases. Oh, no, you wash your hands on your way out? Yeah. Oh, he's not gonna get mad. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Hello, little piglet. She makes noise. That's <laughs> good. No. Sweet girl. <laughs> this is like the two animal lovers paradise. <laughs> Heading over to Expedition Everest. Got a fast pass. Got a fast pass for it, so it should be pretty fun. I know Ooh. I had a <laughs> After that, we're gonna get an ice cream. Oh, an ice cream. Yeah. I could definitely use an ice cream. Yeah. I don't know it's cooled down a little get. bit though, because there's a couple clouds overhead. Hopefully they don't pour on it. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get the sandwich? Yeah. Love ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I don't know if I want the sandwich or if I want a, a premium bar. bar. Yeah. It's a tough choice, but first, Expedition Everest. There's a wild Chloe. <laughs> Never know when I'm gonna bite ya. Oh heck. Yeah. I suppose it was pretty wild. Um, I had a good time in the animal kingdom today. And we are now leaving the animal kingdom. Yep. Go back to, well not back. We have to Going check in. To, yeah. Polynesia. Well, we already checked in online so we have our room number. We've never seen our room yet. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go to the Polynesian and get settled and call down for our luggage. Should be good. 